All right, so here's the thing. You actually don't have to spend hundreds of dollars down at Ikea or on Amazon or wherever you are looking for organizational tools like bins, because here's the thing. If it's just not in your budget, it is not in your budget. And there are some cost-free ways that you can get organized today. And in this video, I'm gonna show you 10 of my favorite, absolutely free ways to get organized. Let's get started. All right, so idea number one is actually creating our own little sort of paper bin. Now, I get these all of the time when you shop at different places. This is Bath and Body Works, Chipotle. So we're gonna make this into a bin to be able to store things away. So the first thing that we're going to do on these is we're actually going to uh, cut off these handles like this. So I'm gonna just cut off the handles on the tops of the bag. And then the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just cut hmm, about halfway down, maybe like a third of the way down on each side on these corners. So just to be able to like have a good visual on this one where the crease is, that's where I'm gonna go ahead and cut down to on all four of these corners here. And then what we're going to basically do is we're just going to basically tuck these in and down. So I'm going to tuck in all of these down. And basically what we're going to do is we're just going to make like our own little paper basket bin here that we can use to store things in. So fold that down and then going to go ahead and rinse and repeat with these other two and then we're going to actually show these in use. So the other thing too is if you wanted to put some tape in the bottom just to make sure that these flaps stay down you can throw some tape in the bottom just to make sure that they're not creeping up on you help it to hold its shape a little bit. So there you go there. Okay, so the next thing when it comes to organizing is actually decanting things, which basically means you're gonna take them out of the original packaging for a lot of different reasons. What I find, especially like in RVs, you've got different bags of things or whatever, and especially on travel days, everything wants to fall over. So I really like to decant items and put them into something more stable. But instead of having to go and spend a bunch of money on those types of containers, you can actually just use things that you already have on hand for free. So this is actually like a pasta sauce jar that I washed out and rinsed out. And then I'm gonna use that for this rice instead of going out and buying a container. Okay, so the next thing that we're gonna do is like these Cheez-It box, this I don't know, this was like a baking mix box. Like you have these types of boxes lying around, whether it's for crackers or just different types of things that come in these boxes. We are not gonna throw these away. No, we're gonna reuse them. So basically what I am doing is I am just measuring from end to end. I'm not including these flaps and I'm just measuring how long that it is and then I'm dividing that into thirds. So, I've got my marks here where I've divided into thirds. And now for this, I'm just gonna use some scissors to cut through because this particular cardboard isn't super thick. If you had a thicker box, you may want to use something like a box cutter or an X-Acto knife, but I don't need to for this particular one. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take each of these sections and then like this one where it was the bottom of the box, I'm just going to glue each of these ends shut. And then after I have glued each of these ends shut, I'm just going to line them up like so. And then we're gonna add one more thing. So the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut out some cardboard for dividers of these. Now that we've got these three together, we're actually just going to take some cardboard, measure it out to fit, and then cut some slits in it here. So. I've measured out my length. I'm gonna measure out my width real fast and then just cut 
a strip here. Now, here's the next step. So we're gonna cut this kind of into thirds in strips like this, but then we're also gonna take this here and we're gonna make some slits with our scissors here as well so that we can put these dividers in here. So put these dividers in and then now let's take this back to the bedroom drawer. So this works great for socks, undies, any small things that you want to keep in a drawer. And honestly, like some of these that I have actually paid good money for, and this works just as well. All right, so next on the list, free way to get organized is we're gonna actually create a sponge holder from this old shampoo bottle. I have this cleaning sponge. I've actually showed this in another video where I use this a lot for the window tracks in the RV and it's just kind of usually ends up sitting there, which probably not the best place for a sponge just sitting on the counter. So we're going to create a sponge holder. This is an empty shampoo bottle. I've taken the top off. And then basically what we need to do is just cut this end part off here. And so I'm going to cut this off. Maybe this is not as easy as it looks. Let's try it this way. There we go. I feel like I'm going to cut myself or something here. Cutting plastic with scissors. Maybe there would have been a better way. Maybe I should have used like a box cutter or something. Okay. Got that off. Okay. So the next step that we want to do is we want to cut the front out of this so that we have a spot for our sponge. So I'm just going to kind of go down the sides actually of the shampoo bottle and then peel this back and then cut this across so that we've got a notch out of the front like this and then the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to cut down the backs we're going to cut a line down the back with a circle right here so that we can hang it over our sink so let's do that real fast all right so hole in the back where the, the slit was to hang up here now here's the deal is this pretty no is it free? Yes, yeah, so it works great and it's free. So this is just gonna slide over our faucet and then I can take my sponge, put it right in here and then any water is just gonna come out the bottom as it dries. So you'll have to let me know so far, which is your favorite. Okay, so for our next cost-free storage idea. All you need is a cardboard box. So now if you have like a shipping box or something like that from Amazon, that actually will work great. And since I have a box that doesn't have any writing on it, I'm just going to use this one as is without any mods. But if you have an Amazon box, all you would need to do is literally just take it apart where it's seamed together here and then turn it inside out so you don't have any of that writing on the outside of the box. But since this one's plain, all I'm going to do is I am gonna use a box cutter on this one. And I am just going to cut these flaps off. Now, because we're gonna to wanna to turn this into kind of like a storage tote, what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna come down just a little bit and I'm actually gonna just put some handles in. So let's just, Here's the deal. This is going to depend upon the size of box that you use. This particular one doesn't say what size it is. I'm guessing it's probably like 12 by 12, something like that. But here's how you can dress up something like this for free or for super cheap. So I'm just going to use a pillowcase, an extra pillowcase that we had on hand. You could also do things like put some contact paper on it or like the peel and stick wallpaper if you have extra of that lying around, which we have that too. But so I'm going to use this pillowcase. Now I did turn the pillowcase inside out. Oh, and there's a hole in this one. How awesome. Inside out and then just kind of loop it over the edges of the box. And especially since this pillowcase actually has like some designs on this side with the ribbing. It actually looks really nice and decorative. And then we have this lined box that we can use for storing all sorts of stuff. So in this particular instance, I actually have some sheets. So these would fit in here quite nicely. Some backpacks, we could put 
those down in here to store, extra blanket. So nice way that you can store things and we did this for free. Being in an RV full time, one thing you realize quickly is that space matters and things like large laundry soap jugs take up a lot of space. This is part of the reason why we switched over to using these laundry sheets from Earth Breeze, which is the sponsor of this video. Now, Earth Breeze is on a mission to make high quality, low waste products that deliver meaningful and environmental impact. I love using these laundry sheets because with a smaller washer dryer unit in our RV, I can easily tear the laundry sheets in half to be able to use the right amount of laundry detergent. Just half a sheet is all I need since Earth Breeze is tough on stains and removes odor. And since finding recycling at campgrounds is no easy task, I feel so much better about using Earth Breeze for our laundry soap since there's no plastic jugs or bags needed. The laundry sheets dissolve quickly in water in any type of machine, including our smaller RV size unit. You can get started by going to earthbreeze.com slash grateful glamper to get started with 40 percent off. That's earthbreeze.com slash grateful glamper for 40% off of your subscription. And if you try Earth Breeze and it's not your thing, you don't even have to return it. Just let them know to get a full refund, no questions asked, and a huge thanks to Earth Breeze for sponsoring this video. All right, so the next hack is actually just kind of modifying the packaging that food comes in to make it its own bin. So like these box of granola bars, I could just go ahead and take the top off, but then I know like, at least for me, it sits in the cupboard and it's like, you don't really see maybe necessarily how many you have left um, or anything like that. And plus there's just a lot of like wasted space to even like reach them or access them quickly. So in this particular instance, all that I'm going to do is I'm gonna actually leave it in the original box, but I'm gonna cut it down more so that you can actually easily see how many you have left, what exactly is in it, all of that good stuff. And it's gonna actually just look a little bit nicer, be easier access and things like that for the kids in the cupboard. Free and easy way to just make your very own bin. So here's the next cost-free way to get organized this year. Now, when it comes to spices, like, yeah, I love the looks of when you have all of like the clear spice bottles with like the Pinterest perfect labels, but that's just not evidently how I roll because I leave them in the original container. But I will say that then I have to pick up every single spice bottle to check for which one that it is. So instead of doing that, if you just take a label maker and you just put a label on the top of every single one of your bottles, you can easily see what it is, but you don't have to use a fancy label maker if you don't have one either. You can just get a piece of paper and some scotch tape or even some masking tape and write on it with a marker. All right, so the next little DIY hack, so to speak, is really a storage container that you can use for so much stuff. Now on this one, I'm gonna just use an old hot chocolate box, but because I don't want to see all of this on the outside, um, I've just basically taken it apart. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna reassemble it, but we're just gonna reassemble it inside out so that we just have the plain brown on the outside versus the inside. So basically to just reassemble it, I am just going to kind of reverse engineer and then glue this shut. So let's do that. We're just gonna hot glue this box back together. So we're just gonna glue the box shut. Now, the one thing you could do too, is if you had any sort of decorative paper, if maybe you're an artist or something like that, you could definitely do a lot with the outside when we have a nice clean canvas to work with but for now i'm just going to leave it the basic brown and then the last thing on this one that we're going to do because on this particular one with what we're going to make this into i actually need an opening and so instead of trying to cut the opening after i've glued it shut i'm actually going to just come in from where these tabs fold in already and then i'm just going to kind of cut a basic it's going to be then an opening so when we go to glue this shut there's going to be an opening at the top 
and then I'm going to do that on both sides. So make sure that I've got it about the same on either side. And it's just going to make it a little bit easier when we go to close it up. And then the last thing that I'm going to do on this one before that I do glue the top shut on this one as well is because we're going to turn this into kind of like a dispenser. So I'm going to actually take a piece of cardboard and I'm just going to put that in the middle because we're going to use this as a dispenser. So that's going to sit in there. I just want to put it in there first before I glue this top part shut. So let's glue this shut. And I can already see actually my opening's not quite as big as I wanted. So we'll modify that here in a minute. So I decided since I did actually have some old peel and stick wallpaper that I did want to go ahead and cover this box with the peel and stick wallpaper. So I'm just super happy with the way that it turned out. Now let's go ahead and add our stuff in that we're going to use this as a dispenser for. Now we've got this box here that we can really use to store a lot of different things. You could just really the sky's the limit, but I'm personally going to use it for some of these napkins that are literally just sitting in our cupboard like this. You could also use it to store your sandwich bag. So instead of these cardboard things, you could use this type of decorative thing to put your Ziploc bags in, be able to dispense these out. Lots of different options for this, but let's load up our napkins. All right, so this next hack is actually a clothes folding hack that I just discovered. Now, if you've been watching this channel, you probably saw a few videos ago that we lost a bunch of our closet space. So being able to hang clothes up, we can't fit as many clothes on hangers as we used to, which means having to fold more and put it into spaces folded. So this is a quick hack on how to fold up your hoodie sweatshirts, because I feel like that these ones are like the biggest, the bulkiest, they just don't seem to be the easiest to fold. So this is a way to fold them so that they stay nice and organized. It's also a great tip if you do any sort of traveling to be able to pack a suitcase. So this is what you're going to do. So you're basically going to fold the first part of the sweatshirt essentially into thirds. So you're gonna fold this in and then the sleeve down, same thing, grab this shoulder, bring this in and then bring the sleeve down. And then you're gonna also go into thirds. So you've got a third of the way up here. And then when you come a third of the way up here, you're actually going to put this inside of the hood area. So it makes a nice pocket for everything and it keeps everything nice and secure, super easy to stack and be able to see in your closet, suitcase, drawer, whatever. All right, so this next, free hack if you drink tea like I do or anything that is in a box where you've got little things that you want to pull out but you don't want to have to open the whole box. All you have to do is you just cut a slit at the bottom and then you can very easily pull out any tea bags or we use the flavor water packets, anything like that. It makes it super easy and keeps you organized. This plastic's a lot thicker than I thought it would be. I mean, there is a better way to do this. Do you want to try? Like, no, like did you want one? Pretty good. All these. Sure. I'll try. Coming in hot. You're good. Like a fajita. Go ahead. Okay, so this is the most efficient way to do it. All right, so this next help. Nah, hold on. Are you filming? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. I'm a beer and all when we're trying to eat healthier. So, nah. I can't even talk. Sale. So that you can actually easier, easier. There we go. Done. <laughs> Did you get that on the bloops? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to leave a video right up here with 30 more cheap, easy DIYs for storage that I know that you're going to love. If we don't see you out on the road or around the campground, we'll catch you in the next video.